Okay, so at this stage, this has got to, like, tickle other people. You had to have kind of picked up on this. So, Electric Pence, the, 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 uh, the Great White Hope, Race Bannon, <laughs> what ends up happening with Electric Pence, but Electric Pence is all about funding Ukraine and then even bringing our own soldiers into it. So, I'm just wondering at this point, all these people that they hate fucking Mike Pence, oh shit, that was a dog. What's going on up here? You see dogs running around in the night. Now, I know hippies live right there, but I don't like... I don't like seeing dogs running. Yeah, yeah, there's dogs barking and running around. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, yeah, somebody's barking at somebody now. Okay, so how, how much of an irony must it... I mean, just all of these people left of center who think they're sticking it to the Trump people... By supporting a neo-Nazi government, there's that one like su there's that one like tranny who's like Slava Ukraine, fuck you guys, you know, and it's like some some army transo reject mutoid, uh, and you know that the, the trannies in the military don't have to have they have no standards. There's no standards whatsoever. All the standards for them are constantly under um, consideration. They're, they're trying to figure out what to do of, with, this, with standards uh, for the tranny, uh, so the tranny guard. So, but I mean, that must, that must hurt. All these people who are supporting Ukraine, and then who supports it the most? Mike fucking Pence and Nikki Haley. <laughs> I mean, that was comedy. That was just magnificent. And that it's like, who did you think would support the, 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 effort, the effort against Russia? I mean, electric fucking Pence. And all these people now, it's like, who are your friends? Who are you aligned with on this subject? <laughs> like, I just love it. It's so good. It's just so good to, to just know, like, you have, you can't cry because you have too much pride. <laughs> You can't laugh at yourself because you got too much pride. You can't say you're wrong because you got too much pride. So, no. How do you know you're wrong? Because you're standing next to Nikki Haley and Electric Pence that their own party doesn't even want them around. So, the, the Democrats have then this too. Oh, we stick it to the Trumpsters. But n nobody... No Democrats wanted Kamala Harris and no Democrats wanted uh, Joe Biden. They, they were like two of the least popular candidates. So I just love now that completely unpopular candidates that could not possibly be actually elected popularly are now who the pro-Ukraine crowd has to stand with. That's magnificent. I mean, there's, there's felted, but this, this is tabled. This is tabled. This isn't felt, felted. This is full, this is through the fucking table. And it, it is beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful to see such a total and complete tabling of people. And that, and now it's there, there's, there's so many of these precious little uh, punks and princesses that need the empire are being shown out that it's like, no, Democrats, you're, you're kind of soft people that without a giant military empire getting everything for you on discount, you, you could survive. And now it's becoming so crystal clear. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. But that's, that's, that just got me. I'm like, 
So or is somebody, is there really somebody on the Democratic side who has to sit there and be like, yeah, Vivek Ramaswamy totally sucks because he doesn't want to give this weird little Jewish guy who's the front for a neo-Nazi government that commits, that literally shelled civilians for years until finally, until finally Russia did something about it. And it was, I just love it. I just, what a bunch of assholes. And it's just, yeah, the pro-Ukraine asshole. (laughs) 